This is a tiny reforestation project in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Over one year ago, in 2023, we planted almost 5,000 native plants straight into a grassy paddock of about 4,000 square meters. Today, we spent a whole day planting an additional 250 plants, replacing some of the losses, but also increasing the diversity of plants even further by adding new species. The weather was a little bit different compared to the first round of planting. It was a, a somber a gray and a very rainy day with either drizzle or outright rain during our planting efforts. This meant that planting was made a little bit more difficult. Most planting holes were pre-drilled but had turned quite mucky, partially collapsed and sometimes filled with water because of all the rain. Luckily, we had two great teams of volunteers from Outward Bound whose energy and positivity didn't seem to be affected by the rain at all. It's been running all the time, so go ahead. After a short explanation and a bit of a warm-up, they had the planting down to a very smooth operation. Plants were first taken out of their containers and then planted as best as possible in the holes. After which all of them received the luxury treatment of a coconut fiber mat and a plant protector. Both of these should help the plants get through their first year until they reach above the grass. We also ended up digging a few extra holes to add in even more plants. So then for the plant nerds amongst us, uh, here's a short overview of all of the plants that we added today. Ake Ake. Ake Raho, also known as a golden Ake Ake. Broadleaf or Kapuka. Nayo. Hebe or Koromiko and of course Kofi. If you're interested to know what other plants are growing in this amazing project, I'll link to a video I made about that in the top right corner of this video and I'll also link to it in the description. Right, let's get back to business because after the planting was done there was still some time and energy left so we worked on releasing the plant. This simply means squashing the grass around the plants, stepping it down so that the plants have better access to light. This is helpful because quite a few plants are still hiding amongst the grass. They're doing well but not yet visible amongst all of the grass, especially in the winter time. Yet there's also plants that were planted last year that have already outgrown the grass. This is a great sign actually because these plants will have established themselves to such an extent that we won't be needing to provide any care or attention to them and they will just look after themselves. So despite a rainy, a very wet, mucky and grey day, the teams got heaps done and even more plants are ready to find their forever home in this tiny reforestation project. If you're new to this project, uh, there's actually a whole load of other material that you can watch because we've been pretty much documenting this project from the start and there's a nice little playlist and I can link to it right here somewhere on screen and you can have a look. Uh, for now, I'd like to say thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time again.